Angelina has a lot to smile about. She's become one of the youngest ever players to be selected for the New Zealand Black Ferns. It started off in 2010 when I um, started playing rugby for our school team. That was the first year I ever started playing. And then from then on, I was privileged enough to um, represent the Auckland secondary team that year. And then I played the following year. And then in 2012, I made the NPC team, which is like the boys ITM. And then it led to Black Friends. The journey to making it to Black Friends wasn't that difficult because of my passion for rugby, because I enjoyed it. Like the training and stuff, I didn't find it hard because I just knew it was how I'd better myself to get there. A challenge that I did face was um, my grandfather, my dad's dad, um, because he's so into Samoan tradition and whatnot, he didn't want me, his oldest granddaughter, to play um, rugby because how in Samoan tradition girls should stick to like netball, guys should stick to rugby. That just pushed me even more. So my mom, she's not only there on game days. Every training uh, for Black Friends, I'd have training at like five o'clock in the morning at um, One Tree Hill, and she'd be up taking me to trainings staying or sitting in the car just waiting till training's finished and even game days she she just she isn't just there on the sideline supporting she's like running the water on um in the changing rooms with our jerseys the wannabe manager <laughs> <laughs> just um having her presence there it helps me with my um with my preparation for my game yeah, she has to, oh, I can't play without her. She has to be on the sideline, even if she's late, she just has to be there. I just have to hear her and see her. I'm very proud of my daughter, but in, this, in saying that, um, you know, just got to keep it real. Don't forget where you're from and just remember who you are. Angelina is also a star at school, yet she hasn't let success get to her head. Being a leader at Pivoto High School was surprising. I reckon, um... Leadership comes from yourself and within. Being a leader doesn't mean you always have to be in the front. In the future, I hope to see myself studying at AU and doing something in science, um, yeah, chemistry or medicine. But with my rugby, I hope to keep training and next year hopefully make the Tri Nations against, I think it's Canada and Australia, and then hopefully go to France for the World Cup. Yeah. That'll be cool. Find a new, find a husband. No jokes. <laughs> a message I'd like to leave everyone with would just be: live above the line. Um, not only in one area, but just in your life in general. Um, and with everything you do, like have your goals there, but don't only achieve them, but exceed them. Push yourself and live above the line. <laughs>